All right, this is the Sweet Child of Mine uh, chorus riff. I'll play it through in full and then break it down. Here we go. <laughs> So I'll take a bit of it distortion off. So basically we're starting off on the A string. That one there. And so it's your fifth string. One, two, three, four, five. On the sixteenth fret. With your third finger there. And then your first finger goes across your B G D strings. So we go on the 14th fret, so we go. And then your high notes, with your second finger, you go to the 15th fret on the B string. And then the 14th fret on the D. And then the 14th fret on the B string. And the 14th fret on the D. So that whole little bit is. time and then staying with your first finger on the D string there we go down to the 10th fret and then on the B string to the 13th fret and the D string the 12th fret and then the so yeah. So yes, yeah, so it's the D string, tenth fret, B string, thirteenth, G string, twelfth, and then still on the G string, we go down to the fourteenth, and then your high notes now are the high E string, twelfth fret back to the G string on the 10th fret and then your high E string on the 10th fret and then back to the 10th fret on your G string so that little bit goes we'll do that again Then we just do two cycles of going right the way back to the very, very first riff of the song. So doing the... Which we've already gone through. So I'll just play through that whole bit of the whole of the chorus riff. I'll play it nice and slow so we can see and hear what's going on. So starting on the 16th fret on the A string. And then the second time it plays on the chorus, the very end is just very slightly different. So I'll play that through. So it's the same as we just did. So we go. Then. It's literally just instead of going back to the very first riff, the all we do to the first finger, we play the 12th fret on the G string and slide it up to the 14th, and then the 15th fret, the B string. There we go.
So the, the whole second bit of that chorus riff is. There we go.